Hey everybody! In today's video, I want to show you how to create a developer org in Salesforce just for uh, practice purposes that is given to you by Salesforce. Each org, developer org in that case, has two Salesforce licenses which allows you to create two users, right? And once we create that free org, I want to show you how to connect it to our trailhead so you can practice uh, your modules and on hands work okay so in order to find a link for developer org you just go to google and type developer org salesforce and usually it takes you to this sign up page that you can go directly and this is where you will provide your information in this case I will do mine make sure you provide um, a working email that you probably want to get a verification email to your email so you can uh, verify your account so in my case it's gonna be modules at gmail.com you can specify any role whatever you prefer basically company usually you want to specify anything you would like consulting uh, consulting and depending what you specify in this field this will show up actually on your developer URL once they give you or create you an account for you region United States and your postal code username I usually like to keep my username same as my email let's click sign up it will go to process usually it might take a couple time or minutes actually for you to receive that email but you need to get that email in order to verify your account so hopefully I'm trying to keep the short video short but once you receive that uh, verification you basically need to verify and actually create a password so I will assume you receive that and verify that account I'm trying to show let me and when you do that you will go ahead and go to your trailhead and click hands-on org and then here where you can link your earlier created developer org right and as you guys know you can create up to 10 playground for free but once you run out of those you can connect that developer org I was talking to you about earlier so you click connect org and then here it might provide you a couple uh, ways you need to authenticate but you will need to make sure you to authenticate with username and or email in that case you provided earlier so in my case it was gmail.com and then password that you created once you receive that email you need to provide it here and then so for now I cannot really verify it because I'm still waiting for my email for verification but once you get it you just need to log in and it will basically will direct you so in this case it will show up 21 works connected instead of 20 if you know what I mean okay guys that's kind of quick video what I want to show to you hopefully it's gonna oh actually I just got it just now just now let's see sweet here we go verify an account so here's where it's gonna take me to create a password make sure it's secure mm. change the password 
Sweet. See, it will direct you to the org you just created. And as I can see, that kind of consulting, based what you specify in your uh, company, it will show up on your URL, right? So what I was telling you earlier, I'll go say connect app. Login with different user. Okay, it takes its time. It likes to take its time. <laughs> I'm pretty surprised how, oh, okay. It says it's wrong password. I wanna make sure I specify my email correctly. Let's go in here. Modules, I misspelled it. Sweet. So here you will make sure you provide all access. Click allow. Yes, you want to save it here. And now, as I previously told you guys, instead of 20 orgs, connect to your trailhead. Now it's going to be 21 in my case. And then that email I was telling you about, and it's developer edition. So yeah, that's how it works, guys. You can rename it and launch from trailhead. I'll make sure to leave the link in this video. So feel free to subscribe, actually. I'll be showing you more videos how to work with Salesforce and how to work on this work. Welcome to community, guys. Thanks.